everybody, Julia here from Accessorize Your Life. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Well, it's Cinco de Mayo, so happy Cinco de Mayo day. Yes, I've got my Cinco de Mayo t-shirt on. Let me show it to you. It's an oldie, had it a while, pulled it out for today. And I have the closest thing to a drink like margarita or something, sangria that I'm going to have is salsa water with a twist of lime. This is raspberry lime, I think, and it's mm, delicious. Trader Joe's brand. And I'll show you a picture right now. What I picked up to have for a din din, actually early din din, more like lunch, but we're just gonna have tacos. Yes, my eye look. I forgot during my Shop My Stash video to pull the avocado toast palette. That's what's on my eyes today. Yes, I'm loving it. And my lips I just have on Urban Decay. This is Accident, one of my favorite Urban Decay lippies. Very old, I think I need a new one. And uh, next time I'm in Ulta, I will pick one up. Okay, so let's get into this Beauty Room Chronicles. Boy, where do I start? You know, I guess I'm gonna start with what came into me by way of mail, okay? The first thing is this series of Star Trek. Ordered it from Amazon. If you remember, I did last month a look for Friday Night Lights. It was, was it International Human Space Flight Day or something, Space Flight Day? Yeah, something like that, I can't remember. But I had um, wished at the time that I had some of the series of Star Trek. I could not find them online that were worth anything. This is, I think it's 72 or 79 episodes here. And it's remastered and they have done an outstanding job. The only thing I did not like is that they came not covered in these little wheels, if you like carousels here and they had all of them in there. But the good thing is you can pop this part out, which I've been meaning to do, I should have done beforehand, and then you just have the open case. So I'm tempted, and on the inside, before I say that, on the inside, the outer cover, on the inside of it, if you take the cover out, you get a listing of all the seasons, season one, two, three, I think it goes up to four. No, just three, I think. Let me pull it out and see. Yes, season three. Three seasons and all of the tapes. Uh, here they are. I have uh, purchased, let me tell you what I purchased to go with that. Where is it? I purchased from Amazon when I purchased the CDs. I bought the CD DVD sleeves so that I could put them in. And this is so far the only one I've watched. This is um, episode or season one. And they don't have the names on them but I'll put that in a cover and all of the others. This is what you get. Look at all of these. And I think it was for some ridiculous low price, ridiculously low price. Um, I'm not sure if they're gonna fit in here because they also have this little thing here that's preventing them to lay flat in here. But I had hoped they would and I don't think, hey, almost. I have to just saw down those little wheels and I think they're all fit in there quite nicely. But anyway, I have been enjoying watching these. Um, takes me back. The quality, like I said, is outstanding. They've added some special touches to things. They went in and, like I said, remastered digitally. The music, they redid the music with the original orchestra, I believe, or some of the people from that, or the director. It sounds good, it looks good, it's amazing. So if you're into Star Wars, I suggest you pick that up on Amazon. You cannot go wrong. It was on sale, I think it was under $40. And of course, these were like $3 and change. So yes, so worth it. What else did I get in the mail? Oh, something really that's for the beauty room. This is the box that came in. And this I saw on site from her, Pat McGrath. Here it is. I opened it up to look at it to see if I like the color and I do. I think it was like a couple of dollars off. Little set here, this is Flesh 5, Pat McGrath Labs. 
and the color is called Astrio. So it's the Astrio Lip Trio. You can throw that away now. And you get all those little dusts. And I put these little things, I don't throw them away. I put them in one of my uh, makeup containers. So you get a pencil. This is not new. I'm sure all of you have seen this, but I just liked this color when I saw it and decided to get it. So this is the liner. See that? And here is the mini lippy. At this point, I don't think I need to purchase any full size lippies. If I can find a mini, that's what I'm going to purchase right there, unless I happen to be totally in love with it like Urban Decay Accident. And then you get a gloss. Let's see how this gloss comes. Is there a, oh, you just squirt it out. There's no applicator. You just squirt it out. And it looks like there's a little bit of shimmer in it. It's the dip, the little drop I got, the dollop. And oh, it's thick. Can you see that sheen there? So those are the three that came in this set. It's a little trio set. So I'm happy to have that in my collection. Put this somewhere so I don't waste them. That would be a mess to clean up. So that's the second thing that came by way of the mail to me. Ooh, I like that combination. Next, what came by way of the mail to me, I have to look on my computer here for it. You get it in this nice little box. This is from Sonia G. This is the Tradition Series Select for 2024. Have that nice little ribbon, her name at the bottom, Sonia G. And this is an eye set. Take this off. I have not used these. Just opened them to look at them. You get four brushes in this set. Let's take them out. Let's see if I can put them in order. The main thing about these that I gathered is that they have a special wood that they use. And let me pull that up. This is a uh, high craftsmanship and the best in the class of brushes. Uh, okay, this is a limited edition set of eye brushes featuring thoughtful design details that has been made with traditional Japanese um, craft is what I want to say. These handles is what's special, the Kayaki handles, and each brush features the ideal mix of natural bristles that are soft to the touch and offer seamless powder application. So these are for powder. Um, they're made in Japan, like I said, with high level artisan craftsmanship. Let's see if I can tell you which one is which. The pencil brush here is TS1. It's a pencil smudger brush. And the next brush is a thick ultra soft lay down brush. And I think that one might be this here. Let me see if they lay them out for me to know. One second, TS2. Yes, the lay down brush is this one, which I thought almost like I say the flat brush with a little white part to it. TS3 here is I think it's this one. Done. I want to make sure I got them right. TS3 is a multi purpose crease brush. And it's also for blending and laying down your color all in one. So you can do a lot with this brush, supposedly. And I think the last one is TS4, silky to the touch, and offers a soft application, a medium pencil. Oh no, I got it wrong. This is the pencil brush. I'm sorry pencil brush here. The other one, this one here, is a pencil and a uh, smudger. So I had that wrong. This one is the pencil smudger. And then the last one is the pencil brush. They do not say on the handle what they should be used for, just the number and her name and then some Japanese writing that I surely can't understand. So those are the brushes that I got there. I am excited about that. I love the color and I may go back for additional brushes with that same handle. Alrighty, I also got the Sonia G Sky Set. Now before I purchased 
the sky set a while back. From the sky set, I purchased the eye sky set, which is, you know, just for your eyes. And I like these because they're for mature or hooded eyes that you have smaller spaces to work in. These work so well for me. They do the job. So I went back and picked up something else. At one point they had the, this is the classic cheek on sale with this. So I picked this up a while back and I uh, don't think I've ever shown you that. I've used it. But uh, I have an additional one because when I got the face set right here and I just took them out of order. I meant to keep them in order. When I got the face set, this is a wonderful set. It's the sky set but it's for the face. They're lightweight tapered handles for easy maneuvering and there's sack cahole goat hair. And they're supposed to distribute the pigments evenly. And they're made by Master Craftsman in Japan. And let's see, first I have the Master Face Brush. I like the other brushes, these are labeled. So that's what it looks like. Really soft, nice feeling for the face. If you have sensitive skin, you'll love these. And I got the Classic Cheek, which I just showed you one of. Now I have two of these, but this is what it looks like when you first get it. And after use, they wash well. Classic cheek in the sky um, set. It's a universal brush. It's for bronzer as well. It diffuses your blush and your bronzer and your highlighter evenly. Next is the mini cheek brush right here. This again you can use for um, building up, going in on your cheek with a slight bit of uh, a product when you want to target in maybe your highlighter under your eyes whatever you want to build up you can do it with this and uh, next we have the soft cheek and this is it this is what it looks like all nice and it's fluff all of them are nice and fluffy and they're like light as air bristles very soft you can use this to contour with it's a very nice brush. And lastly, we have the fan brush. This is the worker fan. And you can use any product without um, harsh streaks or edges when you use this. It just blends everything out so nicely. It's a little smaller. They have some larger than this, but it's nice and thick. And um, it's Sonia G's version of a fan brush. It's um, also like her Sculpt One. So you can really get in and chisel out your contour, your cheeks, do all you want with this. So that's what I got in mail from Sonia G and I think that's everything that I got by, one more thing, by way of mail I also got the earrings that I'm wearing because I ordered from Prime myself the El Cherry earrings and they came in a lovely, you know, box like I said, a plastic little envelope and the box and I use my own code, Chunky Teardrop Earrings. El Cherry, these are the Bottega dupes, but it doesn't say that on here. They are the water drop and they're in silver, as you can see on my ears. Does it say what size these are? Because the other ones did not say. I don't see a size on these, but I am loving them. As you can see, I am wearing them. I'll leave the code the link and the code down below in the description box. You get a thank you card and you get this lovely little box. It makes a perfect gift for Mother's Day. If you hurry up and order, you can get it in two days. If you have Amazon Prime, you get this little dust cloth and this nice little velvet uh, resting plate pillow in the box. So that's L Cherry and these are the earrings. I'm wearing them. As you know, if you watched before, I have them back there in gold and I am loving them. I would not have gone back for another pair if I didn't love them. Um, actually, the first pair was gifted to me and this pair I purchased. You can see the lovely little um, stopper on the back. It's cushioned. I love these. And some of you have purchased them from my link and I appreciate that. I am so appreciative because that gives back to the community so that I can make purchases and share with you on makeup and things like this, but mainly makeup. Alrighty, now that concludes what I got in by way of mail. Okay, before I forget, last month 
I bought a whole set from Ross of these hangers for my slacks. I needed more of them. They were $5.99. I look at these at Walmart sometimes and I think they cost a little more. At least in the past they have. Also from Ross, did I get this from Ross? No. Let's see if I picked up anything else from Ross. I don't think so. Let's move on to uh, TJ Maxx. It's not that much from there. I bought this True Beauty Facelift Roller. Naturally lifts and smooths skin. Gentle rollers, real stone. It's a two-in-one. This is what it looks like, the packaging. It's originally $5.99. I got it for $4.50 on sale. And I think I can take it out or oh, I have to cut the little piece off here that's holding it in. I've never heard of True Beauty and I've never used one of these before. But it says, there's this, oh, there's the stone. I hadn't seen that. It's on the end. And then the rollers are here. And I have makeup on, but it's uh, demonstrating on the side that you can roll here, roll here, 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 and then up like this. So, got makeup all over it. I'll wipe them off. Because, also from TJ Maxx, I have these micellar water, sorry about that, micellar water uh, cleansing cloths or cleansing face wipes for gentle and sensitive skin. It removes your makeup. I think four came in a pack and these were $4.99. I have one here in the beauty room that's all smudged with makeup and one in my bathroom and then the other two I haven't gotten into yet. Shoshado um, facial cottons from TJ Maxx and I think I picked up about four of these or so. Three or four. They were $8.99 a pack. So I have these. I think I may have shown you that though. But anyway, I just remembered those. Also from TJ Maxx, I got this replacement brush heads. This is Swissco for my Sonicare brush. You get eight soft, gentle cleansing brushes. They're compatible with Philips Sonicare. Click on handles. So I got those and I'm ready to get into those. You see, I had to get into the micellar water facial wipes. I needed to. And also from TJ Maxx, I got a shower cap. That's where I get my shower caps from. This was $3.99. The elastic band protects hairline and keeps cap in place. So this is what it looks like in the box. I am in desperate need of a new one. What I have is nice, but still, but it's not nice. It's nice that it protects my hair, but the, it's kind of stretched out. So this one is smaller yeah probably i'll hang on to my other one for a little while longer wasn't sure if it was large enough but this is what it looks like pretty colors though really disco looking or whatever okay so that's that that is it from tj maxx let's move on to the dollar tree because you know i gotta go in there i didn't pick up much from the dollar tree and i'm kind of you know limited as to what I want from the Dollar Tree. I do like the Ioni brand and sometimes the Be Pure brand and I did try something new. Oh, and I like the Juncture brand. So those are a few things I like from the Dollar Tree. I picked up the pencil eyeliner that's basically glue for your lashes. Yeah, I hope that's what this is. No, I think this is just an eyeliner. So this is just an eyeliner. I didn't pick up any glue. I need to. And then I got these tweezers didn't need another pair because I have two sitting here, but they're pink and I picked them up. And from Be Pure, I picked up the Essentially Ageless. This is a, I need these glasses back on. What do I think I'm doing? I got the Eye and Brow Duo. So you can get under your eyebrows with a little white line, or you can go in the inner corner of your eyes or the water line with this to open up your eyes. And then something different, I wanted to just try this. You know, there's six strips, it's a three day treatment. I went through one box already. It's the ultimate white whitening dental strips infused with coconut. You keep them on for 30 minutes and they do work. They do work. The trouble is that they're hard to peel away from the paper and get onto your teeth because they roll up. So I would say, unless you're desperate or unless you don't have many pennies, Go ahead and get these if you want to do that, but I prefer the Crest White Strips if you don't do professional office whitening, which I highly recommend. 
Alrighty, next from the Dollar Tree, and then I think we'll be finished with what I brought into the beauty room. Yeah, I think we will be after this. I picked up the juncture, but bandanas, and boy, I went in there a couple of times and they had these in. So a couple of them don't say juncture, but um, yeah, I don't know what the brand is for a few of these. Let's put the juncture ones together and then the no name brand, if you will, to the side. So you saw me wear this one. Everybody liked it. I've since washed it, but it came with this one, which I have not worn. So I will be getting some use out of that. The no name brands here are two star studded or holiday inspired Memorial Day, July 4th, if you will, scarves. So you have, you get two in a pack. This one is all stars in red, white, and blue. And this one is a heart with a light blue background, red, white, and blue. You could wear that on Voters Day, you know, or whatever, whatever you choose, if you choose to wear red, white, and blue like that. And from Juncture, I got this two-piece set here. Love the black and white. And it came with a white and black one. And then I got this beautiful floral one here. I love these florals. And it came with this beautiful different shade of green than the first green I showed you. That one was more of a blue-green. And I'll hold it up so you can see the difference. That's why I didn't mind getting it. You can see the difference in the colors there. So yes, the camera's showing this one a little darker than what it actually is. I think it's right now. And then lastly, I got this set. Looks like we're going to the races here. And then it came, but it came with this one that I really liked in blue. And that's why I got it because of this one. So yes, those are the scarves. I love picking those up when I see them. And I have some other ones that have been in my collection for quite a while. Guys, I forgot one brush. It's rolled over towards me and said, you forgot me. Let me get a drink. This is another Sonia G brush. This brush was a free with purchase when I bought the um, this uh, traditional set here. At the time, they were having a gift card. If you spend over a certain amount, you got $20 gift card. And since this was um, qualified for the double, I got $40. Then I picked up this brush, which was free to me. This brush is the mini base brush from, I think, I don't know what set this is from, but it's the red set, similar to the blue set. The red set came out first and then the blue set. So this is the only red brush I have. Um, but yeah, that's all that came in to me through the way of mail. Alrighty, I want to mention though at this time that um, Bridgerton is coming back on. It'll be season three and it'll be coming on May 16th, I want to say. Check, double check behind me. But in my Shop My Stash, I did pull this um, Bridgerton inspired blush and highlighter compact here and I pulled it and I was afraid that it was cut off from my shop my stash so I wanted to mention it specifically because Bridgerton is coming back on this month. I'm excited for that and I'm excited fingers crossed to see if Pat McGrath comes out with anything related to the series. I know that Target has some nice little mugs for Mother's Day. They're Bridgerton inspired. I don't know what else is out there. I haven't picked anything up other than that, and that was last year or early this year that I picked that up. So, um, yeah, I, if they come out with makeup, I think I will try to get that. Alrighty, next we will, I will let you see something I put together over here. I wanted a shelf to put some things over here to clear my vanity desk, whatever it is. So I'm going to get the camera positioned to show you that. Then we'll get over here to pick some perfumes to change Maybe we'll review these perfumes. Then we'll get over there and pick out some perfumes and set up my perfume tray. And um, I think I'm going to let that be it for today because I have to get down and make my tacos. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. And I want to relax some. <laughs> Stay tuned. Alrighty, this is the latest addition to the beauty room. I put it together myself. This goes over the toilet normally. My husband had it downstairs in a box 
and um, he was going to sell it but he decided that I could have it. I do want to change out the knobs that I put in. I went ahead and put in the silver. I'd like to have it in gold. I put it here because I want a shelf, over, a shelf system over here to just put some things up and get it off the desk or vanity. It opens up on the top and I have a lot of skincare in the top and nail polish in the top doors. Up here I just have a candle, two little trinket boxes and earrings. I don't know if you can see that. And then on this open section here, I have those brushes I just showed you, my um, Danessa Myricks palettes and her yummy skin so that they're right in within reach. My clock fan, brush cleaner and Q-tips and cotton rounds. And this part opens down like this. I have just tucked away some lipstick containers in there. And then I have a mirror and a little fan over there. As you know, because it goes over the toilet, this part is all just open. But I would love it one day to put a shelf there so that I could put additional things there. So that's new to the beauty room and I assembled it myself. It didn't take much time at all. I watched one of the Star Wars movies and got this together in no time. So now we will move over to the tray and review the perfumes that I use all of April and now into the first part of May. Keep watching! Looking at my perfume tray, the lighting is a little off over here. I think it changed a little. I have my drink. I'm going to take a sip. It is rather warm and humid today. We had a lot of rain overnight and into the morning. So I have here a pen and I have my perfume review journal which I got from Amazon. So this was another uh, relatively new um, purchase from Amazon that you can record your fragrances on, your thoughts. It has a place for the brand, the location where you purchased it, the cost, the date you purchased it, whether or not it's a perfume EDP, EDT or cologne. Well I don't know what that is. Application, packaging, initial impression, head, heart, and base notes, and then notes you want to make, and anybody else's impression, and when you wear it, season, occasion, and stuff like that. Projection, longevity, and overall rating. Needless to say, I don't fill all of that in. So I will be referring to this because I have started recording some of my perfumes in it um, when I am talking about these. Some of them I've just put the name, and I haven't made any notes on. So bear with me with that. I will just tell you what I think of them. We're going to start with this EAU de Sicily number no. two. This is a EDT so it's a toilet. It is less potent than a perfume and I did not write any notes except for it's a EDT and that I purchased it at Nordstrom Rack and it's Sicily. To me this is in this beautiful bottle with that cap. This is a lovely mature woman scent. Not an old lady, but a mature woman scent. It is a scent that uh, starts off a little like alcohol, but that dissipates and you get a lovely, I can't express it any other way than green or spring-like scent that is mature. So I have it on today. I do like wearing it, but I save it for the weekends, times that I'm home or that I'm just running errands. So that's one that'll be coming off my tray. And let's see. I have a Dior's Jasmine right here. Dianguez, I think, Christian Dior. This is from their top of their line. This is an EDP. I don't have any notes on it other than the name there. It smells just like what it says, jasmine. Very, very warm. It's like you're going into a room of flowers hanging and just cascading down a wall or all the walls. Sometimes when Dior has their fashion shows, I don't know if you've ever seen it, they will decorate the room full of florals, all flowers coming from everywhere. And that's what this reminds me of. It's not overpowering, but yet it's warm and it's jasmine and it's delightful. So that's the jasmine from Dior. Now I need to put some of these notes in my, 
book. Okay, for for Oscar de la Renta, I got this one at um, Nordstrom Rack. And by the way, the Dior I picked up from their website. And it comes with a pillow and a beautiful box. But for Bella Rosa, I got compliments on Bella Rosa several times. This was definitely a work horse for me during the month of April and into May. I have worn it to work and gotten compliments on it. This perfume is soft, just like the bottle shows you here with the roses or the flowers on it here. It is definitely feminine. It is definitely soft. It is definitely leaving a little light floral trail when you walk. Um, I got it in the 30 millimeters and it, the box was pretty and elegant looking. The bottle is as well. Very much a floral scent I have. The top notes, pink pepper, freesia, and mandarin. The middle notes I wrote down, pink rose, jasmine, and orris. The base notes, patchouli, sandalwood, and amber. I found that it was a modern, soft, elegant rose. It's playful, bubbly, and romantic. I think it's perfect for, I went as far as to say, spring and cool summer, spring days, summer evenings, day, special occasions. But I since found out it's perfect for work because it does not overpower you. You don't smell it coming. But when you walk by somebody or you're walking with them, they get a gentle scent of this beautiful fragrance. And you'll get compliments on it. Okay, let's see if I have either of these uh, written down in this book at all. Maybe I went too far. Let's see. What do we have here? We have Valentino and we have this Rue 21 Icon. I think I saw Icon. I do not have any notes for Icon except that it is a perfume. It's cute. It's youthful, I feel. And I got it at Marshall's. So it's by Rue 21 and it's called Icon. And, um, I got it, like I said, at Marshall's. It was really inexpensive, but it is a sweet, lovely, youthful scent that I wear again on the weekends. Put it over here. And lastly, we have a Valentino. Let's see if I have anything in my notes. Yes. Donna, born in Roma, Valentino. I think I got that from Macy's. I have the 50 mLs or 1.7 fluid ounces. My initial impression is that this is a woodsy and sweet scent. You definitely pick up on the wood at first sniff to me, even though it's a, a base note. But I love the scent and I think it projects. The top notes are black currant and bergamot, and it has a host of jasmine in it in the middle notes, like regular jasmine, jasmine tea, and jasmine sambre. I don't know what that is. The base notes is bourbon vanilla cashmere, which gives it that warm scent, and there's a wood essence. It projects, like I said, and I enjoy wearing it, so much so that I went and got another flanker of Valentino Born in Roma. So that concludes what was on my tray for the month of April. Like I said, well into May. I'm going to continue filling this book out, but you can find this on Amazon if you like to make notes of your fragrances, and I think it's I found it for under $5, I want to say. And I got a makeup one as well. Okay, let me get the camera over to the other side. Alrighty, I'm going to put away the Valentino Born in Roma. I always think of suits. Hi, I'm Donna. Yeah, I'm Donna. <laughs> this is where I keep those Pat McGrath. Let me see if I can pull it out. I have some hair bands here. But in here, I keep those Pat McGrath little shimmery things and then some crystal rocks just in case I need them. And then here I have some headbands on top, some shiny ones right here. I did pick up a new perfume and this was during the sale for Sephora when they had their um, sale this spring. And it wasn't in right away, but then it popped up towards the end of the sale, like the last day, and I picked it up. So I have the Angel Nova. This is an EDP and it is, um, Recharge, refillable, star. I have not opened it. I do have the little star and I got so many compliments on this when I wore it and I love the scent. It, la it is last lasting on you or long lasting is what I really want to say. And it has that beautiful bottle. I think this is a controversial uh, scent. A lot of people don't particularly care for this one. It was a flanker. The blue one was really popular, I think, but I do like this one.
And I think I want to pull also some little minis. And I think I'm going to go with a mini from, let's see, Dior has, I have several Dior minis here to pull from. Miss Dior, those are both Miss Dior's. And then I have some Jador minis here to pull. I don't know what I want. So I think I'm going to pick up some minis like the Miss Dior. Let's try these two. And I'm going to pick up a, let's see, this is a Ness hibiscus. It's a little bit left in there. And then, let's see, I'm going to pick up a Guerlain. This is a Aqua Allegora. I think this one will do. Okay, I'm going to take this tray over to uh, my drawer system over there and we'll sort it out. Hang in there. Okay, I'm ready to set up my tray now that I've wiped it off. We're going to go in with the Kaali first. This is the vanilla scent. I think it will be a great base. If I don't want to wear it alone, I can certainly wear it with some of the other scents. And I have the Trin here from House of Siage. Beautiful for spring still. Look at the birds on there, the flowers. Beautiful. And let's see what's next. I have Joe Malone, and this is the Lime Basil and Mandarin. I love this scent. So nice and just kind of clean and uh, not floral, not real sweet. So I like that. This is Nest. I haven't worn this in a long time. This is Hibiscus, but what is it called here? Sunkiss Hibiscus. So I have a little bit left in it. I've had it a while, so it can go back here somewhere. Again, these are all minis. And then this is the Allegora from Guerlain. I'm going to put that in here. I have a couple, couple of Dior scents right there. J'adore. And then I have Miss Dior. Put that here. Then I have a Versace. This is the Crystal. I think I liked it. The Yellow Diamond. I think I liked it okay. But I didn't like it enough to purchase a big one. And then my fave Angel Nova. Will it stand up? I think it will. It's going in the center. And then I have Tonka. And this one I think is called, it's so old, Stella. And I think this is a roll-on. So it can go over here. And now what I have to do is look on this tray and see what these are. These are little travel size. I have no idea what they smell like. It's been a long time since I've given them a sniff. Some of them I haven't even opened. So let's start with this one right here. I have no idea what it is. Can I get it open? It's an EDP. And it's not a mini. It's a little sample. Apogee by Louis Vuitton. Hmm, it's pretty. Yeah, I'll do that one. Ooh, that smells nice. It's very pretty. I like that. Very, um, very different. I like that. I, I can't express it right now. Then I have Dars La Pew. Dars La Pa. P-A-U. Let's smell, uh, send, spray this one on the other hand. Oh no, this one definitely smells like tobacco or something not not right away not anything I want to use now maybe in the winter it smells like uh, oh man this one is Milo few Milo few I have no idea what these names mean Milo few let's spray this in my that's pretty but I'm going to pass on that one, two. That's pretty. I have two more. This one is Rose. And the other one is in the family of Contre Moy. Moy. Contre Moy. Hmm, that is different. We're going with this one. That's quite a bit. I'm just going to give the Rose a smell. A sniff. Ooh, these smell nice. But that one that I said smells like an old man, I don't like that one. Not for now, anyway. 
This one is Rose Des Vince. Rose Des Vince. Guys, I am not a perfume reviewer. If you want accurate descriptions, if you want um, the nose behind the fragrance, all that stuff, the names behind the fragrances, the nose, you have to go to one of those channels. Oh, this is pretty. Where all they do is um, fragrance reviews. I'm going to add that to the tray. I like that. Um, but I, that is not me. And let me show you. Yes. Isn't my tray looking lovely? Let's take this away. And I'm smelling so pretty up in here with all this Louis Vuitton samples on my arm. Guys, I'm at a crazy angle because of the... Um, Oh gosh, you're seeing all my junk <laughs> behind me. But I'm at a crazy angle because I am. The camera's at an angle. But I want to say, have a great Sunday Cinco de Mayo. Enjoy, you know. Um, you don't have to have alcohol. You can enjoy the day without alcohol, like I am doing. You can have salsa water with a twist of lime and enjoy the day just as well. Okay, guys, stay well. I hope you enjoyed this version of... Beauty Room Chronicles, the perfumes I pull, the things I brought into the beauty room, the additions I've made to the beauty room. I love you for watching. Stay happy, stay well, and happy Mother's Day. Happy Cinco de Mayo, too. <laughs>